another reason why uh, this think tank is not so popular is that um, its main activity was uh, in the ex republics behind that had been behind the Iron Curtain and we've helped these countries to uh, become members of the European Union, especially countries like uh, Slovakia, Slovenia in the ex-Yugoslav uh, uh, republics and also Croatia, countries like that uh, were very much helped uh, to uh, enter the European Union. and. There are many people in the European Union who think that it should not be enlarged too, too much because if there are too many uh, countries within, um, you, have, you have some rich countries and you have some, some poor countries and the rich must pay for the poor and maybe the rich are not rich enough to pay for all the poor. And, um, some people, like Mr. Uh, President Giscard d'Estaing, who, by the way, whose father, by the way, uh, was a secretary, uh, was a person secretary to Count Richard, Kudnov Kaleg in the, in the years 20, 1920 and 1930. But that's another story. But um, uh, President Giscard d'Estaing, ex-French president, uh, and some others, uh, think that um, we ought to create a, a, a smaller club of ten strong European nations within the European Union to uh, to give more impetus to the Union and to strengthen the um, the euro currency. So. Um, we're not uh, we're not uh, too fashionable because we have always uh, said that if the European Union does not accept those countries, uh, especially countries from uh, the ex uh, Yugoslavia, those countries would be uh, very quickly seduced either by the Russian Federation or by the Turks and in the Pan-European Union we prefer to see these countries even if they are not 100% democratic and, uh, and uh, satisfying uh, our European standards we prefer to have them within our Union than without and as enemies, as potential enemies. This is also not so uh, politically correct in, in the European Union. So, based on what you've explained, it sounds as if uh, the Federalist, the European movement was more uh, the Northern European countries, uh, Southern European countries, and Pan-Europa went into the Eastern Bloc nations and helped those nations come aboard as well as uh, working within those nations. So that's a significant contribution. While one movement uh, sounds as if it's working on one end of the European Union, Pan-Europa is working on the other end. Would you say that's correct? Correct.